Hello everyone, Alex here with Bass Toy Photo, and today I have a few things for you. There's going to be a, I'm going to talk about a recap of the Alamo City Comic Con, which happened this past weekend. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I want to show you some goodies that I picked up, not only at the Comic Con, but you know, along the way. And there's also another announcement about a new, another event coming up this weekend. So, you know, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start with Alamo City Comic Con. Man, there was so much cosplay, some very cool costumes. <laughs> there was a, a guy that, or a girl, I don't know, I guess, they were dressed up as, ah, what's the, the, what's the pink Sailor Moon, a pink character? Um, I'm not sure, I can't think of, but anyway, they had the pink dress, but it had the, the mask of, from the Scream movie. <laughs> it was pretty interesting, you know, needless to say. Uh, what else, who, who else was there? There was a, oh, there was a girl that she had this amazing body paint, like the whole, it was like Venom girl, but like half of her face was, you know, the ma Venom makeup, but then the, you know, it, was, it went like this and like down half, half her body and, but it was body paint. It was really, it was, it was very, very well done, very, in a lot of detail. So, oh, Boba Fett, of course, I did take a picture of Boba Fett or with Boba Fett, not of Boba Fett, but, um. Uh, yeah, which you know i'll show you which you can see it um what else who else was there there was just you know there was just so much stuff but um oh so across from where we were right uh across from us was a guy by the name of guy gilchrist now if you don't know who guy gilchrist is he is the cartoonist of jim henson and if you don't know who jim henson is he's one of the persons that created the muppets now, Guy Kilchrist and Jim Henson, they both got together and they created the Muppet Babies. So, you know, for those of you who grew up, you know, mid, I think it was around mid 80s or so, you know, Muppet Babies was a big thing. Uh, my wife, she absolutely loved Muppet Babies. And I'll tell you when, you know, when I saw who, you know, who was there, Guy, you know, Guy Kilchrist, when um, I realized who he was, so I called my wife over, right? Like, hey, you know, come here. So I introduce him to her and I tell her, hey, you know, this is Guy Gilchrist. You know, he is the creator of one of the creators of the Muppet Babies. And man, I was not expecting that reaction and neither was she, where she just like all this nostalgia came, you know, her, like a lot of his memories from her childhood. And, you know, it was just like, you know, tears in her eyes. I mean, she was so excited of meeting him you know that there's just you know it, it was <laughs> it was a very cute moment you know and i was glad i was there to see it so but uh, we took a photo and also i just you know i realized on that day that i happened to have a jim henson funko pop with you know that's not if you, have, if you haven't seen i'll show it to you in a minute but it, he's got kermit the frog you know holding him so I told my wife, I was like, hey, I, I got that pop at home somewhere. Why well, don't, you know, it's like, I'm going to, you know, we're gonna look for it tonight. This was on Saturday. So we we'll look for it tonight. And then tomorrow we'll have him, you know, autograph it. So sure enough, I come home, I look for it, I find it. And needless to say, we did take it and we had it autographed. As you can see, his autograph right there. And he also, we also had him do a little cartoon of Fuzzy because that was, that was her favorite Muppet baby, Fuzzy the Bear. So look, check that out. Isn't that cool? That's original Guy Gilchrist art. One of a kind right there. So of course, we you know, he put a, he put like Waka Waka with her name on it. And as soon as we got home, actually now before we even got home, I ordered this hard case because you know, this baby is going to be protected for a long time but thank you thank you guy this completely met our day thank you for the awesome memories you know it was amazing thank you so much so another thing i picked up was uh some patches of course to add to my repertoire you know there's a guy that he had all these patches man it was just crazy amount of patches so this time i didn't go as crazy as i did in mexico i only picked up five but let me show you so here is we'll start with the little 
head of uh, Inosuke from uh, Demon Slayer. Really, really, uh, really tiny. But you know, I think I might put him here on the collar. You know, I don't know. Although I was just playing with with uh, uh, Beetlejuice because I picked up Beetlejuice. See that? <laughs> so I was playing with them, and I might do something like this. Like I'll put Inosuke's head on Beetlejuice. I think that would be kind of funny, but I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Should I put this on the collar or should I put it on Beetlejuice? So anyway, uh, for Halloween, and this is kind of goes with the little announcements going to be, but check it out. I got it. I got both old and new Pennywise. Pretty neat, huh? So this, I think I'm going to put them over here somewhere. And then for Masters of Universe, Orko. I love this little wizard, middle mage. I've always liked him. I just think it was, you know, <laughs> it was always funny. So, Orko. And Flash. So, Flash is simple. And I believe that's, oh, no, I, you know, that's almost everything. But, so, if y'all remember last time, I mentioned that the actress that plays Bo-Katan in The Mandalorian, Katie Sackhoff, that she was going to be there. And I had her sign one of my acrylics. So if y'all can see, ooh, let me see. The, here's the signature right here across. And then it says to Alex. So yes, I definitely had her, you know, dedicated because I'm not selling this puppy. This is going to... This is on my wall, hanging over there. I just kind of brought it down so y'all can see it. But she signed it. She was super cool. Very nice, very sweet uh, lady, person. But um, I just have to hold on to it. Um, and let, let me share a little story of you know how amazing she is. Let me put this down. Um, so I'm standing in line, right? And I don't know, maybe like, two or three people ahead of me. It's a family, so you know, it's a mom, a dad, and a kid, probably about, I don't know, about 10 years old, and he's holding a, the Mando's helmet, right? So anyway, they're walking along, and you know, so the way it works, like you you pay for, um, you know, you pay whichever, whatever you're gonna have in your autograph, you pay for that, and then you move on, she signs it, you talk to her for a little bit, and then, you know, you move on your way. Well, from what I could tell, I don't think they paid for anything, they just, Move along, they just wanted to meet her, okay? They they couldn't afford the signature autograph, anything. They, but, you know, obviously the kid is a big, you know, uh, he was a big Kitty Saka Mandalorian fan. So they moved along, they just wanted to meet her, they, they talked to her. And of course she's talking to a little kid, you know, very cool. And then she then asks him, the kid, the boy, she asked him like, hey, would you like me to sign your helmet? And of course, you know, he was kind of shy, but you could tell that, of course, he would love to have her signature, you know, but the mom, you know, she mentioned uh, something along the lines of, you know, don't quote me on this, but pretty much saying that they didn't pay for an autograph that, you know, whether they could afford it or not, I don't know, but they mentioned that, you know, that she didn't, that she didn't pay for it, they just wanted to meet her. So she goes, oh no, here, give it to me. I'll sign it, no charge. So, I mean, that was, so cool of her so you know you could tell that she really cares about her fans you could tell that you know she, she's she's just not one of the celebrities that's out there for money you know so of course the kid was super excited like yeah yeah like, you know she signed it and everything and you know that it just she just made that little boy's day and you know it was very amazing so katie thank you for being the way you are you know it was just uh thank you um and I believe that's it for the Comic Con. There was, you know, just a lot of vendors, a lot of art, a lot of everything. So now let me show you a couple things that I picked up. And if y'all are a fan of, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, my wife, she loves all the uh, Dia de los Muertos things, you know, the sugar skulls and that. Um, and if y'all haven't seen the Barbies that are being put out, the newest one for this year just came out. I think it came out on the 9th or so, or the 8th or 9th or around there. Anyway, they're on the shelves now. They're still, you know, I was there. I was at HEB yesterday, which is a grocery store here in Texas for those of you outside of Texas. Um, 
and they still had them so i picked up the newest one i got barbie and ken so let me uh, let me open it up so you can see it it is you know when mattel created this line of barbies man they just hit the jackpot see it i hope the glare maybe put over here i'm not sure but this line of dolls of barbies the series the and i believe they're i believe they're hand painted so you know of course i'm going to be doing something you know by november by november for the other los muertos so stay tuned for that and i already have a couple ideas for it <laughs> one might be kind of funny but here skin <laughs> i don't know i guess during shipping his head got moved he's all crooked it kind of looks like a zombie there but you know check it out they did they did pretty good uh pretty cool job pretty good so you know and i think and even the the costumes are hand stitched something like that but very neat very beautiful even the box the artwork on the box it's amazing it's on all sides you know this is the front um side the back it has a little story it's both english and spanish which is you know pretty interesting and then this weekend this weekend is going to be monster con at rolling oaks mall so remember when i uh, went to that uh, level up gallery the their anniversary party that, uh, that mall same place so but this time this is going to be big pretty big event they're expecting upwards of five or six thousand people so it's going to be all sorts of people dressed up as monsters um, arts and crafts uh, toys collectibles you name it so with that in mind i want to show you something i picked up this pennywise from it and he is totally freaky so this is the one because apparently there are several versions of this from from a uh, neca neca and i thought it was the one that came with the balloon but it didn't so which is okay uh this one comes with a spear that you can drive through one of the heads <laughs> kind of weird but i did take a photo of this i took a shot actually i took a few a few a few photos which as you can see um but the one i'm making a print of is the close-up of the head and that is going to be available on uh, this weekend i'm going to have some copies there so y'all can come by pick one up or you know they're actually they're available on my site now so feel free to grab one and i believe that is it no it's so one more thing and this is more a question for y'all so let me know what you think during the comic-con uh, uh, last weekend there were a few people that came you know came by and say hi and but they asked me if, uh, some questions there were some that actually did toy photography as well so that was pretty neat to be able to you know uh, meet other toy photographers and one of them comes up to me he's like hey you know man i really love your work and he goes you know i do this but how do you make him look cool and i was like okay well that's kind of a loaded question there i mean what do you mean you know so anyway we got into a conversation about you know how i do my how i do my setup what can you know what do i use lighting etc so i i'm thinking about making some videos you know some you know kind of behind the scenes but more like explaining my process uh maybe show you know like say for example the, the pennywise um photo that i took how i you know how i shot it sort of like behind the scenes thing or you know what you know just how i come up with the idea for it and there's a you know that one was one question you know pretty much how i come up with this stuff and it was another one that asked me what has been my toughest uh photo to take or you know to create and you know again just you know, talking about a process we talked and so in that one i, I talked about the the john wick uh image which is like the pot the funko pop but in the poster that looks like you know, like the movie poster and on that one i could explain you know how i did it 
if that's something that y'all are interested in that you think would be fun then let me know you know then if, if you know if, if i get enough if enough comments or enough people asking about it then you know i'll definitely i can definitely make a, a video out of it so anyway so anyway that's it uh thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and see you next time